New Zealand's endangered yellow-eyed penguin has the name of hoiho, or noise shouter. But actually, these rowdy little guys couldn't be more shy. Unlike other penguins, which nest in huge colonies, hoiho prefer to nest in the undergrowth away from prying eyes, which makes them a little tricky to keep tabs on. So let's join the Yellow Eyed Penguin Trust here on Codfish Island in their annual penguin chick count. What are you guys doing out here at the moment? Catching penguin chicks and checking to see how many have survived from hatching through to this stage where they're almost ready to go to sea. So it gives us an idea of the breeding success. We've had most of their monitored nests have survived with two chicks, which is really good, and they're good weights too. But the main thrust of this project is on Stewart Island itself, the mainland, so codfish is just monitored as a comparison yep. to that. How's your Stewart Island population doing? Terribly. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we haven't had very good success there for the past five years. Yeah, in fact, last year was a complete disaster where none of our monitored chicks survived. And do we know why? No, we don't. That's what we're trying to find out um, by comparing sites where they're doing quite well to the mainland part where they're not doing very well at all and trying to see what's different between the two areas. So we're collecting its weight. The measurement will help determine sex. Um, we're taking feather samples, which can be, the stable isotopes can be analysed in those, and together with all the other samples we've got, we can get an idea whether the diet between here and Stewart Island is different. The trust mainly it works by habitat restoration. Um, just recently, they managed to purchase a big chunk of land in the Catlins, and so that will be retired from grazing, and fenced off and replanted to re-establish penguin habitat and do everything they can to try and make sure that the penguins have an even chance. Full They're only found in New Zealand in fairly limited numbers. And most people think of penguins as your bluebird chip penguins sitting on ice floes and with sort of tens of thousands of them all bunched up together, whereas these guys are shy, they're solitary, they live in the bush, you know, they've probably never seen an iceberg in their entire life, and they're unique to New Zealand. Just about to insert a microchip or transponder into the back of the neck of this bird, it just gets injected just under the skin, and that'll be there for life. We can identify it as an individual in the future. For the field staff of the Yellow-Eyed Penguin Trust, their working day entails crawling through bush and scrub in some of New Zealand's most isolated southern environments. But by counting, weighing and checking up on the chicks, these penguin plunket nurses are ensuring that our endangered yellow-eyed penguins have a fighting chance. 